Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Chapter 22 of the book of Proverbs. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the froward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The importance of not just having a good name, but training the teaching of younger generation starts, of course, it starts in the home. It starts in the home. Sometimes people say, well, if those school teachers would have done this or that differently. Well, I understand that not all uh, children are raised in the same setting. Uh, but I don't think that it's something that we can push over onto school teachers. And there are certain things that they teach. And I thank God for those teachers who are called into that. Now, let me say this about school teachers, chaplains, what I do, pastors, um, people that work in rest homes, people that work at hospitals, people that work in daycares. My wife is a daycare worker for 13 years or so. Not everyone can do that job. Not everyone should do that job. Not everyone's cut out to do that job. She was. She still is. She doesn't do it now, but she still is. She had a heart for those children. I've watched in rest homes for the 30 years I've been pastoring, but especially the last 17 years I've watched people, and you can tell, there are some who, who of course, we all need the the income, the money, and 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 I and I don't even like to think that someone does something just for that money. Um, I yeah, I I like to see people that do things they do because their heart is in it in the first place. So you see people in those facilities who those people that they take care of is that's their life they love those people i mean they treat them like gold they treat them like it was their mother or father or grandparent and and those are the people um that that whether they're school teachers or what they are those are the people that i would want my children or grandchildren to be around i would want my children or grandchildren to be like them but it all starts uh, in the home and once it starts in the home, we train that child in the way that it should go, or he or she. And when they're old, they won't depart. Now, is there going to be troubles, turmoils, problems? Tr yes. And some people say, well, there's no hope for that kid now. And that person gets to be an adult, there's no hope now. And you look. I mean, is there a guarantee because they're raised in church that they're always going to live for God? Look at a lot of the secular acts as far as music and show business that got their start in church. So, no, it's not a guarantee that they're always going to do everything that they should do. But up here, something is going to speak to them. And down here, the Spirit of the Lord is going to speak to them. And you train that child. But what happens if you don't train them? Well, we're all going to leave here someday. What a shame it is for the parent or grandparent that never tells their child or their grandchild not just to be a good person here. We don't stay here forever. But to give your heart to the Lord. To repent, to give your heart to the Lord. And uh, this song says, Where Are the Children? I've sang it on here before. Our kids used to sing it with us. I, I, someone said on a secular radio station the other day, a talk radio um, caller called in, and the guy said, What do you think it's going to take to change this world? And he was talking to a woman who was in government, a government official. She said, To change the United States of America, it's going to take people getting their Bibles back out and starting to pray and stuff. And he says, Well, good luck with that. Which is basically saying, If that's the kind of change we have to have, we'll stay on the course we're on. Well, if we stay on the course we're on, we're in trouble. I went to church again today. Looked at all the fine array 
Not many little faces did I see. They must be tall from the start. They must have Jesus in their hearts. Oh, where are the children? Where are the children? Is Satan stealing them away? Are we too blind to see? Jesus said it best When I return will I find faith Oh, where are the children? Where are the children? When at last we've run our race Who'll be there to take our Will the house of worship fade away? Amazing grace, and it won't be long. When we're gone, who'll sing those songs? Oh, where are the children? Where? Not so many years have passed, but the changes, they've been vast. This world gets more wicked every day. When we get to heaven and we look around, will our children there be found? Oh, where are the children? Pray for the children. Satan stealing them away. Are we too blind to see today? Oh, where are Remember Jesus said it best, when I return will I find faith, oh, where are the children, where are the children? Lord, I thank you for for the teaching that I had and God I didn't always stick with it and my children haven't always stuck with it and I see that in generation after generation Lord but you brought it back and God I pray for those today who have heard uh, that you'll continue to deal with them Lord and that they'll turn and come to you we love you we thank you in Jesus name amen Miss Margaret Luke thank you so much for the uh, letter and for um, the little tissue holders that your sister made and I, I suspect that might have been uh, Edith if it was if she watches this thank you too uh, we love you all God bless you we'll see you uh, Friday